Hello everyone! This hour on Verbally, the next in my Getting Results in Business. No, it's not Getting Results in Business. What class am I doing? No, 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 it's Speaking Skills. That's what I'm doing. Sorry about that. <laughs> the next in my Speaking <laughs> Skills series, we're going to be doing a Speaking Skills class all about describing your home. Okay, before we begin, just a quick introduction. I'm John Eric, your Verbling teacher for this hour. I'm an American teacher from New York, hanging out in Lisbon, Portugal, to bring you this class. By the way, here are three quick rules to help you participate. Don't forget to turn off, tune in, and open up. Turn off your microphone when you're not speaking, so we can keep the classroom quiet when everyone joins us. Tune in to the new words. Use them as actively as you can, so I can correct you and open up to your classmates. Relax and have fun. We're all here to learn, and this is a safe and respectful place to practice your English. And that is a little bit about me. Let's say hello to all of you. Hello, all of you. Hello. Hi, Adriano. And where are you from? Hi. I'm from Brazil, but I'm, I live in Madrid, Spain. Ah, very good. And whereabouts yeah. in Brazil are you from? I'm from Recife. It's in the northeast of Brazil. From Recife. And let's say welcome back to Vincenzo. Nice to see you, Vincenzo. How are you? Hello, Vincenzo. Are you there? Yeah. Ah, there you go. Okay. Good morning, teacher. How good are you? Good morning. <laughs> I'm all right. Okay. As I'm as we're talking, I'm putting the link to the material in the chat window and inside. So if you want to open the material, you can by clicking on those links. Let's say a quick hello also to Vladimir. Hello, Vladimir. How are you? Hello, I'm fine. Thank you. So, Vladimir, have I seen you before? <coughs> because I I don't recognize the picture. Uh, no, that's my first, first time. time. Ah. And where are you from, Vladimir? Uh, I'm from Russia. I was about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Just a guess. The, I've never the, met a Vladimir from anyone except from anywhere except Russia. <laughs> because that's a Russian name. So it's easy to guess. Because of Vladimir Nobokov. That's why. I know the name Vladimir, the writer. Uh, let's say a welcome back to Piotr. Hello, Piotr. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. I'm fine today. And you're I'm from great. you're from, from the Ukraine, right? No, no, I'm not from Ukraine. I'm from Poland. It's near the Ukraine. Uh, I know, but I can I don't know why I keep mixing you up. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Two people joined the class at the same time. One was from the Ukraine, and then there was you, and I don't remember what his name was. I'll remember next time. Okay, okay. no problem. But we do have Cornell from Hungary. Hello, Cornell. How are you? Hi, and uh, hi, everyone. How are you? Long time no see. Sorry? Long time no see, Cornell. <coughs> uh, uh, Sorry, Adre uh, sorry, Adrian. No, uh, uh, I would like to uh, mute. Okay, uh, John, could you please repeat the question? I said, long time no see. Yeah, um, I, I am working at the moment, but uh, I am on uh, sick leave uh, till uh, Friday, so uh, I can start uh, my work again uh, from next Monday. Ah. Uh -huh. So you've been busy. Oh, I, I, so I I I I I I uh, got a job, but uh, I'm not uh, deli uh, not delighted uh, with it. So I am looking for another one. But uh, yeah, it is a situation <laughs> regarding myself at the moment. Such is life, isn't it? <laughs> yes, you are right. Well, you're gonna have fun today. So let me just I'm gonna open some material on my. Computer, and we'll get started. Let me just get to open the PDF on my side. Okay, so take a look at the screen, everyone. How to describe your home. 
Um, <clears throat> let's take a look at that picture before we do anything. I want you just to, before we even talk about what's in a house, let's talk about what you see in the picture. But we'll go around the room. Tell me one aspect that you see in the picture, one detail. I'll give you an example. That house has um, has a chimney on top. Does everyone see it? That house has a chimney on top. It's right near the window. And by the way, what I'll try to do is put the I'll put the vocabulary. I'll try to put the vocabulary inside the chat room. And at the end, as long as I don't forget, I'll post it in the public chat because right now I can't. I don't think I can write in the verbling chat, but I'll do it later. So chim I see a chimney on top. Um, Adriana, what do you see? Um, I see um, at the top. Are you asking yeah. or in the anyway. picture in general? In general. Okay. Give us another um, detail. I can see um, a double bed. Ah, uh, where is where is the double bed? The double bed is in the in the bedroom on the top of the house. And what do we call the top of the house? What kind of room is that? Um, do you know? What kind of room is that on the top of the house? Aguas <laughs> frutadas. What do you call that? When the don't you say that in, in Portuguese? Aguas frutadas. No. Uh, no, no, sorry. <laughs> oh, maybe that's only in Portugal. Uh, when you, I ha don't, I when don't you know. have a when you have a room, yeah. and the and the ceiling goes down like that in a triangle. Oh, it's on the very top. Oh, yeah, yeah. But uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know uh, the word. Let's find out. Class, what do you call that room at the top of the house with those where the walls are on a slant? Anyone know? Attic. The attic is correct. So, we've got a bed in the attic and a chimney on top. Cornell, what do you see? Give me another detail. What do you see, Cornell? Uh, uh, in my point of view, uh, I, think, uh, uh, I can see a uh, Mm, uh, house and uh, how uh, attic of of the house is not a typical one because uh, uh, in in my opinion there is no any uh, bed in in uh, in the attic <laughs> so there isn't this one <laughs> yeah yeah it is not a typical <laughs> typical attic so what yeah, else do you uh, see yeah b below the attic uh, I can see a bathroom. Below the attic. Yeah. Below the attic. Yeah. Don't uh, forget the. Don't forget the. Below the attic. Below the attic. I can, a, see a, I can see a bathroom. Absolutely. It's a bathroom. Yeah. And uh, and the living room or or I don't know the besides uh, besides uh, uh, the bathroom. Okay, something. We'll, we'll zoom into it in just a minute. Piotr, what can you add? So we've got an attic with a chimney and a double bed. We've got a bathroom. The bathroom has tile walls or tiled walls. If you look closely, there's little squares or tiles. What else can you see, Piotr? I can see that this house has a black tile, tiled uh, roof. It has... Yeah, what do we get? Those are called shingles. It's got, uh, a shingled roof. Shingled They're not tiles because they're not made of. They're not hard ceramic. They're they're uh, they're probably some kind of. Uh, I don't remember the material, but it's very rough and you, it's a little bit flexible. So the shingles. It's a shingled roof. Black shingled roof. Excellent. Roof is a good word too, by the way. So the roof. The attic, chimney, shingles, Vincenzo, what can you say? Yes, yeah, I would say 
I would say this is a, a building, a three floor building. How many it's floors? A, uh, one, three, four with the attic. Four floor building. Not four floors, but a four storied, four. I would say storied house. Four storied house. Look in the chat window. Four floor, four storied house. That's right. very, very important. Storied. It is. You use storied. So yeah. floors are for buildings. You're absolutely right. But maybe a smaller building, like a house, we would say stories. Okay. Just just like just like the never ending story. The yeah. never ending story. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's very unusual, I think. But it, it's exactly how we say it. So if it's small we say stories. If it's big we might say floors. No, no, like the, the, the way uh, of the the way they are using the room, no? The, yes. So for example, if there is a, a bed, a double bed at the attic, that's very strange for me no? to have. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. It is strange. Yes. But a bit strange, I think. By the way, yeah. at the at the attached the house. Top no, the top of the house. There's a what? I'm sorry. Say again. Don't you think it's, don't you think it's a bit strange having a, a double bed in, in the attic or not? Uh. It's warmer in the attic, so maybe it's a good idea. <laughs> By the way, a detached house is British English. A detached house. Uh, what do you mean? We, uh, that that's that's what Cornell wrote. Detached house. So it's a good word, but it's British English. In American English, I don't know what we would say. We would say maybe a. A house. <laughs> I don't know if we have a good word to say it in American English. Yeah, you are right, but uh, I uh, I learned uh, British English <laughs> in Europe. <laughs> Detached house, yeah. Because in American English we have uh, townhouse, yes, yes. we have row home, uh, we family have. House. Yeah, yeah, family house, yeah, maybe that's what we would say. We have to do a lot of exercise in this house, teacher. A lot of. <laughs> You've got to, there's no, there's no elevator. <laughs> Going down and up with, you know, the stairs. Well, let's take a closer look here. Oh, Vladimir, maybe I skipped you. Sorry. Um, what else could you add? So we've got chimneys, attics, bathrooms. We've got shingles on the roof, tiles in the bathroom. We've got four stories. It's a detached house or a family home. What could you add to this, Vladimir? Vladimir. Mm. I also see kitchen on the second floor. I see a kitchen on the uh, second floor. Sure. I see a, a kitchen. kitchen. Right. Nice place to put the kitchen on the second floor. Why on the second floor? By the way, is that the second floor or the first floor? <laughs> the, ki the kitchen. Is it the second floor or the first floor? The first floor. If you're European, it's the first floor. If you're American, it's the second floor. So guess what? When you walk into the building, we call that the ground floor. But remember, there's no floors because this is not a building. It's a house. So for houses, we have stories. So it's the second story, second story, like this in the chat window, second story. But if it was a building, like if you were going shopping in the shopping mall, the bottom would be the ground floor. And in Europe, the first floor is called the second floor. In most European countries, I think. Here in Portugal, it is. So it depends if it's American or British English. So for we'd say ground floor, second floor, third floor. In American English, ground floor, first floor, second floor. But let's keep it simple. This is a house, so we've got the we've got the first story and the second story. Uh, and there you go. Let's zoom in and look at some details. Obviously, we're going to be talking about describing your home. In this lesson, you will learn about furniture, decoration, and style to describe your home. Just out of curiosity, what kind of furniture do you all have? What kind of furniture do you have in your homes? 
um, armchairs. Armchairs? Coat, uh, armchair, tables. <laughs> of course, everyone's got tables. Uh, tables, uh, mirrors. Um, so far. So for book, bookcase. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to talk about it in general, you can say it in the plural. I've got armchairs, tables, sofas, mirrors. What um, else? Book, bookcases. Bookcases, right? Couch. Couches, right? Carpets. Carpets. <laughs> furniture. It's a furniture. These are, these are all, yeah, there are all kinds of furniture. I'll put that in the chat window. Does anyone have anything unusual? Does anyone have anything unusual for furniture? What? What do you mean? Okay. I don't know. Let's find out. Pewter, what's the most unusual furniture? I have a, mo I have a mobile fire. Adriano, say again. A kind of uh, mobile, that mobile? You can move, mobile fire. Like, like to put documents. Um, it's it's, Oof, it's fire in fireplace. Fireplace, yeah. Ah. It's a <coughs> oh, sorry. It's a kind of heating, uh, but uh, it works as well, like a piece of decoration, you know. And what, so, what, what do you put inside of it? How, how does it? You mean it's a? Is it with? Was it? Does it heat water and it gives off steam? Is it electric? No, it's, it's electric. Ah. Yeah, it's electric. And um, on top of it, above, above. Mm -hmm. Above. Uh, I put a uh, lot of books, so it can work as well, uh, like a bookshelf, you know. Do you have it? Is it there in the room with you? Sorry? Is it in the room with you now? No, it's not in the room. In the ah. room, I have a bookshelf, a normal bookshelf. It's uh, downstairs in the, in the living room. But you do have a mixing table. Are you a DJ? Mix <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Ah, let's look. I'll just we can just describe his room. Look at that. He's got a mixing table. Uh, what else has he got? Uh, he's got XLR cables. He's got. Chair. He's yeah, got. A, he's got a, a nice I've, chair. I've got as well. Um, that's that machine you use to get to get turned. You know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, a, ten, it's a solarium. Tanning booth in English. Tanning booth. Uh, 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 or air conditioner, manual air conditioner. Is it? <laughs> ten, no, it's turning booth. Yeah. It's a turning booth. You can't tell people your secret, Adriana. Don't tell people you've got it. It's a secret. They have to say, my God, why do you look so good? I don't know. I'm just this way naturally. Don't tell them it's a turning <laughs> <laughs> No, but uh, actually, I don't, I don't use it. You, know. <laughs> you can rent it out. You can become a tanning salon. Rent it out to the public. Look, let's take a look at a few pictures. Um, I want you to look at these two pictures now. Let's learn some new vocabulary. Tell me, what do these places have in common? Maybe we can try to, I'd like to go around and tell me one thing they have in common, and then we're going to find one thing that are, that's different between them. Adriana, let's start with you. Look at those two pictures, and what do they have in common? Give me one example. And you uh, can say something like this. Well, both, both rooms okay. have something like that. Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm trying. I'm trying to find something that they have in common. Uh, let me see. Oh, both. Both rooms have um, a Spanish guitar. 
<laughs> that's that's yeah. that's true, actually. Yeah, an acoustic, an acoustic guitar. Acoustic guitar. Okay. I'll write it in the chat window too. Both rooms have what appears to be an acoustic guitar. That's true. Cornell, what would you say? Um, actually, both rooms have uh, sofas. They do. Sofa. They both have sofas. That's true. Sofa. Sofas and or couches. Same thing. Sofa. Yes. Couch. And uh, both rooms uh, have uh, mm, glasses and uh, and something like that. <laughs> glasses? You mean glasses to drink out of? Yes. Oh, in the yeah. in the uh, and and uh, some some cup cups. That's true, but that's not furniture. <laughs> Let's focus on on uh, the furniture and the decoration. Yeah. So sofas are good because we can talk about how the sofas are different. Those those are actually very good. Um, well, let's go around. Piotr, what would you add? Something they have in common in terms of furniture uh, or decoration? Okay. Well, well, both rooms have uh, pictures on the wall. That's true. They both have pictures on the wall. Or we could say pictures on their walls, even yes. better. That's true. And the, the pictures are a little different. Uh, and anything else about furniture? Vincenzo, besides sofas, what other furniture do they have in common? The furniture, mm, <coughs> they have, uh, I don't know. Because we have already said a lot of things, uh, said a lot of things, but uh, I can mm, I can add. Uh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. We didn't talk about that. So it could be a bottle. A, a That's bottle. not furniture. Bottles. Yeah. Not furniture. Yes. You mentioned lamps, so that's a good thing. We didn't talk about that yet. Yeah, a lamp. Both have in common a lamp in the ceiling. Okay, that's good because there are, we have lamps, but they're different. So we can talk about those, and it also has. A floor, a floor lamp. One has a floor lamp. It's also. We'll talk about the differences in just a second. Okay, but that's good. Lamps are another good thing. And finally, Vladimir, what's one other thing they have in common? We talked about the differences. Uh, well, both rooms uh, have a round tables. Okay, tables are a good thing because we can talk about how they're different. They both have round tables. We'll talk about those. So let's do this. Look Can at the words. Little table, little round table. Well, that's it. We're going to go to the details now. Tea table. No, I'm going to call it. Let's go to the details now. Look at the yeah. words. Look at the words in the chat window. And now I want us to tell me. I want you to tell me what type of these things are there? What type? So let's start with tables. What type of table? And this is for all of you. Tell me what your idea is. Wooden. Wooden. True. Wooden tables. Round. Well, tea table. Tea tables. No. Not, not tea tables. Almost. A different beverage. Not tea. How do you call it? This is little table. What is something else we drink besides tea? Drink. Uh, coffee table. Coffee. coffee tables. So tables. We've, we've, there's wooden tables. We can call them wooden tables. We can call them coffee tables. We can call them end tables. What? How do you end tables. E-N-D. End, end. This ring is. Why end tables? Because end tables are at the end of the couch. So there's two end tables in the picture on the left. There's two end tables. Next, there's, yeah, next to the couch, no? 
Yeah. Next to the couch, yeah. Yeah, in table. Okay. So a coffee table is more like in the picture on the right because it's in front of the couch. An end table is more like the picture on the left because it's on both sides of the couch. It's at oh, the yeah. end. So there is a round one and a square. Exactly. No. There's a there's a there's a round end table and there's a square end table. The square end table is a little bit more like a coffee table. Coffee tables are usually lower than end tables. Okay, but anyway, these are good words for you. Wooden tables, sure. Coffee tables, end tables. What kind of lamps does the room have? What kind of lamps? A floor lamp. Floor. No. <coughs> floor lamps. One has a floor lamp. And the other one has a ceiling lamp. What kind of ceiling lamp? Look at it. What is that? On the right side, what is that? It's a funny shape. Yes, my can, can can we describe this with this kind of lamp? Chandelier. Not a chandelier, no. No, it is not. A chandelier is only for like if you go to the White House they'll have a chandelier. That it's like a it's a, like a Chinese lamp. So. Oh. It's a Chinese Chinese. lantern. Lantern. Look at it. Lantern. L A N T E R N. It's a Chinese lantern, exactly. Maybe it's maybe that one is Japanese, but yeah, it's it's a lantern. Let's talk about the pictures now. We said there's pictures on the wall, but they're different. How can we okay. describe the the wall with the paper? The wallpaper the, the wallpaper is peeling off in the right side. In the right, yes. In the, right. the wallpaper is healing. Look at the chat window. One second. The wallpaper is oh, not peeping. Sorry. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> wallpaper is yeah. it is healing a, off. The, the, uh, sorry, the, they are posters on the right. Uh, pictures on the wall. Yeah, the pictures on the right. So on the right we have posters, and on the left or, or, we have uh, strange posters. <laughs> What? You got a poster of Bruce Lee on the right. Look at that. It's 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 yeah, Enter the other, Dragon. Yeah, and yeah, another yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You've got Bruce Lee on the right. And on the left there is a skeleton. It's uh I don't know what that is. It's a skeleton. A skeleton. And what about the picture on the left? What kind of pictures are on the wall? Ah, uh, it's very different. Okay. It's a photos. Yeah, it could it could be photos. But what's important is Man monkey. Or Say again? It huh? it could be a monkey or, or <laughs> a boat monkey photo monkey? photo. Oh, yeah. monkey. There is monkey? a stair. The skull. Like, <laughs> one stair. A stair. Okay, but they're both posters. Well, Look on the left side. Those are not posters on the left picture. What are they? Images. They, they could be not even, Say again? They are trees. Trees. It's a, it's a poster. <laughs> on the on the left picture they're not posters. On the on the left picture, the wallpaper. Yeah. On the not wall the, it's, uh, it's a, a kind of jungle. The kind of forest. Oh no no, I mean to the left of the trees. Look at look to the ah, left. Ah, okay. Do you know what uh, we call those? Images. Not images. Images is very abstract. Yeah, but it's it's almost impossible to see what is that. Doesn't matter what's in them. What matters is how they how they're presented. Those are framed pictures. Ah, wow. Framed, framed, framed with pictures. Uh, they, they look like monkeys. Uh, those those are framed monkeys. Oh. Framed. Yeah. <laughs> framed of monkeys. Oh. So when you have wood or metal around the picture, it is a framed picture. A poster is just stuck to the wall. The wallpaper is peeling on the right and there is a design. The wallpaper is designed wallpaper with trees on the left. Alright, one more thing about these pictures which is look at the difference between them. They're quite different. Vladimir, uh, tell, me one, tell me one difference between the two pictures. On the left, right side is big mess. <laughs> the right is a mess. Excellent. 
And what about, Cornell, what about the left? Is it a mess? No. What is it? How would you describe it? What do you think, Cornell? How would you describe I, uh, the left? Untidiness. On the left? No. On the left, it's nice. On the right. Left, uh, in my point of view, it, it, it is also uh, untidiness. <laughs> so. <laughs> It, 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 yeah, it is too too much <laughs> for me. So every, everything uh, uh, everything uh, uh, has a strange uh, strange uh, places uh, in the room. So it is not acceptable for me. <laughs> on the left, on the left yes. is perfect. The left it is, is it is, is not tidy. perfect. It is not, yeah, it, <laughs> It oh is not. It, it is not. It is not perfect. Uh, where is the glasses and, and the guitar and mm. and uh, yeah. some some books uh, uh, in front of the fi fire mm. fire. There's a lot of things room. left on the floor. Yeah, they're relaxing. Yeah, but I don't like this way to to leave things. We are leaving things. They're relaxing. She's got a glass of wine on the floor. She's gonna play some guitar. You <laughs> know. Guitar, radio. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, and, they're and chilling the, out. They're chilling out in the living room. They're relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And there okay. is a, there is a matchbox or a something like uh, something like that in front of the man. <laughs> there's, a, there's a Rubik's cube. There's a there's a toy train in front of the man. A little toy, look like a little wooden toy. There's a Rubik's cube in the front. If you look in really close, it's a nice room. Actually, I would say on the left, it is. Immaculate, immaculate. What does that mean? Immaculate. It's the opposite of what's on the right. On the right, it's a, again, it's, it's a mess. It's untidy. It's a mess. The left side is immaculate. Can we use the adverb teacher messy room? It's a messy room. Messy. That's right. Adjective, messy. Uh, messy. Adjective, yeah, messy. It's messy on the right, and I'd say it's immaculate. That means that it's orderly. Immaculate is like orderly and clean. Even if you don't like things on the floor, the room is still clean and orderly, actually, right? Because those things on the floor, you can pick them up. They're easy. They're not, it's not dirty, right? Uh... Let's apply. Oh, we still got some more things to learn. What sorts of things do rooms usually have? So here, well, give me just a second. I want to go forward. Yeah, okay, fine. I've given you a few ideas of things that you might not ordinarily think of. All right, I want you to go through and just read the vocabulary for pronunciation first. Adriano, first word, first picture on the left. What's that word? Sorry, sorry. First word, first picture, top left. Say that for me. Okay, uh, bureau. 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 Yeah. When you have a U, you have to say E before the U. Bureau. 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 Okay. Excellent, excellent. And Cornell, second picture in the middle, top middle. And table. And vestibule and, and vestibule. 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 It's not the picture we're looking at, right? It's just a word. Where is the vestibule? This is a word that comes from Latin. Where is the vestibule in a house? In the old Roman houses, they had a vestibule. In ancient uh -huh. Rome. After the door. After the door, right. You walk in and there's a little vestibule or antechamber, the room before the main room. Excellent. Okay, and uh, Piotr on the top right. Drawers. Yeah, but you can say it with one syllable. Drawers. 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 That's it. Where are the drawers in that picture? Do you see them? On the... I think that on the right side of the picture, exactly. the, wooden, the wooden. Wooden drawers, exactly. Drawers, yeah. On the left, those are not drawers. Drawers are for clothing, usually. On the left, that, that's something else. 
What are those things called on the left? The sure. left side of the picture. They're not cabinet. drawers. What are they? Cabinet. It's a cabinet with what? Cabinet with... I mean, if you say the cabinet has drawers, it's okay. Everyone will understand you. <clears throat> but actually, probably, it's got, we have a better word. Well, we'll come back to it in a minute. Think about it for a minute. Concentric, bottom left. Can you say that word for me? Yes. No. Bottom Wayne, left. Bottom left, wainscoting. Wainscoting. Do you know what that is? Wainscoting. 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 Do you know that word, Vincenzo? No, I've never heard that. Wainscoting is, let's see if you can see it in the picture. In the picture, it's really, really, really small. You can't see it very well. But the wainscoting... No, I can see very well. It's, it's, it's a kitchen. The, a kitchen. It's, yeah, in the kitchen or in any room, that little white line, which is between the wall and the floor, that little white line, which is usually a piece of wood that protects the bottom of the wall, is the wainscoting. Ah, ah wainscoting. Ah, yes. When you, that you can hit with your foot. Ex no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except in some houses, the wainscoting goes all the way around the room, 360 yes, yes, degrees. Yes. Yeah, uh, that's it. Generally, generally it's, uh, it's made of wood, no? Yeah, exactly. That's right. Sometimes it's actually very decorative, too. But the word is wainscoting. Okay? And uh, in the middle, Vladimir, the middle bottom. Night light. <laughs> a night light. You can't see a night light in the picture. You see a bathroom. But we normally get a night light. Who do we normally get a night light for? Why do we normally have a night light in a house, Vladimir? What do you think? For, for the children. Yeah, exactly. So the night light is because children are afraid of the dark. Or, if your house is dark and you need to use the bathroom at 3 a.m., it's nice to have a night light so you don't fall over. <laughs> Adriano, the last word in the bottom right. Uh, it's faucet. 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 What is a faucet? Do you know? You know the word, Adriano? Faucet? No, I don't know what's faucet, but, but uh, maybe. Uh, no, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so here's what we're going to do. Look at those words, and now I want you to match them to the picture. If it's possible, I'm not saying all the words fit every picture, but if it's possible, tell me which picture they go with. So, class, where does the faucet go? Which picture? On the, on the left uh, picture uh, on the bottom. Oh, yes. the, the, which, oh, oh, the far left. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right. Where is the faucet? Where is near, it? The sink. near the sink. Be more specific. A lot of things uh, are near the sink. Faucet, faucet is above the sink. Above exactly. The because exactly. Uh, water flows through the uh, faucet. Exactly. See it, Adriano? The faucet is above the sink in the far left. Okay, it's like the tap. In, in, in British English, tap. In American English, faucet. Okay, okay. Tap and faucet oh. mean the same thing. Okay, now I understand. Yeah. If you say faucet to a British person, British English person, I don't know if they'll know the word. I'm not sure. And if you uh, say tap to an American person, they'll think you mean uh, tukar, tap. <laughs> right? They won't uh, understand what you mean. It's like, uh, for American tap, it's like touch. Yeah, to tap someone on the shoulder. Excuse me, teacher. My uh, faucet is the same of, of the, the tap, tap. Because the tap, I know that is the, the way, the object that you have to turn in order to have to get water. It's from, exactly, yeah. Faucet from. is American English. Exactly. Uh, you get water not from the no. faucet. You get water from the tap. Exactly. But the tap faucet. is the, the, the object that you have to round. That's not. it. 
That's exactly right. It's the whole thing. It's the okay. it's the part where the water comes out. It's the little knobs. So you have a faucet that is U.S. English, and the faucet has knobs on it. And you turn the knobs to get the water. Yeah. Is there a faucet in the middle, in the bottom middle? Okay. Is there a faucet in the bottom middle picture? Piotr, do you think there's a faucet in the bottom middle? I don't know. I, I don't see. <coughs> yes, there is a. There is. Yes, there is. That, there is a kind of faucet. In it is a faucet. Part. Yeah. In the, the bath tube. In the bathtub. Yeah. Not tube. Tub. Tub. <laughs> <laughs> tub. In the bathtub. That's right. <clears throat> Let's see if we can match the other words. So faucet goes on the bottom left, far left, and the bottom middle. Uh, nightlight, where does a nightlight go? Uh, Cornell, where do you think a nightlight would be found in these pictures? Nightlight? Yeah, where might we have a nightlight in these rooms? Which room? Uh, on the top right. On the top right? And what room is that? It's a working room or something like that. Okay. A work room. Maybe a work room. Maybe a work room is more for <clears throat> like in a shop. We, it, it could be a work room, but work room yeah, could it, also it, mean a it, shop. Yeah, so, it, it could be. Because uh, there are some some pens or pencil on the table. It could be. Yeah. It could also be a or, or, or a children's room or something like that. Okay, yeah. Could be a child's bedroom. Yeah. And another possibility is it could be a den. D E N. Den. Have you heard that before? Den. No, not yet. <coughs> a den. A den is a place like uh, a place where you relax. Could, could you please uh, write it down on the chat box? I did. <laughs> it's the last thing I wrote. Yeah, okay. A den, <clears throat> a den comes from the animal world. A fox has a den, so a den is like a hole in the ground where the fox has its children, little baby foxes. But <clears throat> in a house, a den is a place where you play your video games. A den is a place where you've got a bean bag instead of a armchair. So. And a den might even have a desk like this. So it could be a den. Maybe, maybe. Okay. Vestibule, we already identified. Um, where does the bureau where does the bureau go? Where does the bureau go? Class? What do you think? In what room do we have the bureau? Hello? Bureau? That's the, on the top right. It's on the top right. Where does it go? In what room of the house? It's the, de the den. It's what? Say again? In the den. Bureau in a den? I don't think so. Because a bureau is for clothes. Also on the top left. What room? What kind of room? Um. Bedroom can have it. Absolutely. Bedroom, for sure, have bureaus. Absolutely. So, bureau, a bureau has drawers. And uh, that thing in the, that you're seeing there is eh, not exactly a bureau, kind of. A bureau is more like, it's, it looks, I don't have a good picture of it, actually. Um, is, is it an office? An office bureau? No, like an office. No, no, no. It's it's no, 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 no. That's a different kind of bureau. That's like it's the Federal kind of bureau. bureau of Investigations. That's a different uh, kind of bureau. Kind uh, <laughs> from French no? bureau. Yes, but that's a government office, a bureau. For us <laughs> in a house, it's for clothing. Uh, give me just a second. I need to move forward in the presentation to see how many we have here. Okay, yeah, okay, I got it. I know where we are. Okay, 
So what I'd like you to do is take us on a virtual tour of your premises. See if we can follow you by giving us directions to a place in the house. I've given you a house in the picture, but you can talk about your own house if you prefer. You don't have to talk about this picture. Okay, so what I want you to do is give me a little tour. I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to use my own house, okay? And then I'll ask you a question or two at the end. So, when you, when you park your car, you walk up to a little, uh, it's like a little community. Uh, all the houses have the same style. You come in through the front gate, you pass through the, uh, through the, what do you call that in English? <laughs> I forgot the name in English. Uh, the, uh, oh my god, I'm blanking on the name. I can't even think. I can only think of the word in Portuguese. Okay, I'm going to change the word. We, we, don't, we don't have one of these, but I'm going to tell you, in, 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 if I was in America, you would open the front gate, you'd walk up the walkway. I'm going to write this for you, too. You walk up the walkway, you'd step up onto the porch. Step up onto the porch, and then you come through the main door. On the left, you have uh, a little, uh, a little kitchen. There's a bathroom straight ahead, and then you pass through the living room on the right. And if you make your first right, you're into my bedroom slash office. It's a bedroom slash den slash office. It's kind of a little bit of everything. Okay. Take a look at the keywords that I used in the chat window. So, how many rooms do I have in the first floor of my house, based on what I said? How many rooms do I have? Three. Three you rooms. Have, uh, three, three rooms, yes. I, is, there, is it true? Does everyone agree? I no, you, you have uh, two rooms. Because four, four rooms. Four van, rooms is correct. One room. One room. Van four. Room. <laughs> four rooms. Adriana, what are the four rooms? You're right. Uh, the living room, living room? Uh, the bedroom, right. the den, and the office. You are wrong. <laughs> so I have... what? <laughs> It's, the porch is, uh, is a kind of room. Porch? No, 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 no. The porch is outside. Uh, bed, bedroom, den, and office is the same room. Yes. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So what I, But I mentioned the kitchen. I didn't write it down. I mentioned the kitchen and oh, the bathroom. Okay. So kitchen, bathroom, living room, den, <coughs> bedroom, and office are the same. So four. Okay. The porch, the porch is outside. The porch is a little platform outside. You step up onto the little platform, there's a rocking chair. That's a porch. In America, everyone has porches. Okay? Adriana, tell me about, give us a little tour of your house. Let's see if we can do a couple of tours. Well, so talk talk uh, us to your house. Okay. Um, when I... When you can say, I you, get can say to my, you can say yeah. it like this. You open the gate. You yeah. walk up. So imagine you're giving us directions to a room in your house. How would you do it? Walk through. Um, you walk through. Um, oh yeah, first you open the door. And then you, once you open the door, you can see the living room where there is a sofa, and next to the living room, to the to the uh, to the left, there is your um, kitchen uh, where you have a fridge and then and other things and. Um, next to the kitchen, there is a bathroom, and upstairs there is a den. And uh, to the right, next to the den, uh, there is a bedroom. 
Is that where you yes, are now? That's my house. Yes, that's where are I am Are you in the den now. or in the bedroom? I'm in the... I'm in the den. Den. In the den. Excellent. How many rooms does he office. have in his house, yeah. everyone? How many rooms does he have in his house, everyone? Four. I counted five. Yes, you're right. It's five? John is right. Five. Yes, it's, it's five. Are you, are you including the bathroom, teacher? Bathroom? You, I counted the bathroom as a room, yeah. 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 I got five. Normally, we don't need, don't mean mention about bathrooms. When in, it, in, it, in Italian, you don't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what would <Yeah>. we do? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Excellent. Very good. Very good. See, you can see uh, two bathrooms. Yes. yes. Vladimir, I'm curious. Do you live in a house? In an apartment? What kind of? What? What do you live? I'm living. Uh, one I live. Foot. I live. I live I, in in a in a one bedroom flat. A one bedroom flat. Okay. So how many rooms total? Then two rooms. Uh, if it's a one, if it's a one bedroom flat, you have at least two rooms, right? Uh, three rooms if uh, we count a bedroom. But three bathroom. rooms. If you if you count the bathroom. Okay, great. So, imagine you're going to give a tour of your one-bedroom flat. Give us a tour. So, first, you do what? Then? Uh, when you open the door, mm -hmm. uh, you see a small uh, corridor mm -hmm. or vestibule. Vestibule, good. To the, to the right, uh, there is a door to the bathroom. And uh, if you go forward... Uh, you if you go ahead? If you uh, go if ahead? You, if you go ahead, you come uh, into the living room. And uh, there is also a, do a door to the kitchen. So let me see if I understand you. When you open the door, there's a, a bathroom on your on your left. So, was it on the left or right? Uh, on my right. On the right, sorry. There's on a bathroom on the right. right. And if you go straight ahead, you end up in the living room. And that's yeah? right. If you sure. go straight ahead, you end up in the living room. But there's another there's an adjoining room. Uh, there's a bedroom which is adjoining. That's a good word, by the way, everyone. There's a bedroom adjoining the living room. Adjoining means that it is connected to. The rooms are connected. Adjoining. Did I get that right? There's a bedroom adjoining the living room. The doors are next to each other. Uh, I, it's better to say uh, I have a own living room and uh, two doors from the living room to the bathroom and uh, to the kitchen. Oh, I so, missed the kitchen. So, so they are not connected. Uh, ah, okay. They're not adjoining. They're not adjoining rooms. Okay, very good. Excellent. One thing that you can talk about is also the style of the house, the style of the, uh, which we didn't talk about too much. But when you start to talk about some details like posters, frame pictures, wallpaper, a lantern, a floor lamp. It gives us a picture of the style. Okay? Peter, I want you to give us a little tour, but I want you to include some things that give us a sense of the style, the decoration. Okay. Okay. Uh, I live in the apartment. Uh, An apartment? In, in flat. In flat, yeah. to be more specific. Uh, when you come into my uh, flat, you can see uh, on the right side one small living room. On the uh, a little a little steps after that uh, living room on the left on the right, a you few can steps, see the next one. A few, a few steps, steps to the right. To the right, 
Oh, I'm lost. I'm lost. Uh, okay. <laughs> when you come into my when you come into my flat, there's a living room, and a few steps to the right is what? Is the next living room. Oh, you got two living rooms. Yeah. Wow. It's like it's more like the I have the one room for one person. Oh, something like that. Like uh, a den. More like a den. Like a yeah. den. Yes. Ah. On the right side, it's uh, den for. Uh, for one person on the left side, it's a living room, it. and few steps after, and few steps after that, I have uh, kitchen on the right side, and bath and bathroom on the left side, and it's and my then it's on the left side. It's complicated. It's I don't, I don't know how to explain that. It's like a and labyrinth. What can I say? Yes, yes, something <laughs> like that. Uh, and what can I say? What can I say about style? Uh, I have a lot of uh, wooden furniture. Yes, yes. It's it's, it's been... very easy to burn my house. Yes. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Do you have insurance? No, I don't have. Oh, okay. Because if you did, I would burn down your house. Oh, yeah. We can, we can, we can make a deal. We'll make a deal. After class. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cornell, what about you? We've got just a minute or two. <laughs> Let's get one minute to Cornell and one to Vincenzo. Then we've got to go. Okay. I, I, uh, I live in a detached house. Uh, uh, there, is, uh, uh, there are two floors. Uh, when, uh, when, uh, two stories. Can, uh, two stories. Floors. No, no stories. Okay. You don't live in a department store. You don't live in a skyscraper. So it's a two-story detached house. Mm -hmm. Two stories. Okay, two two stories. Uh, when uh, we can uh, en uh, enter the enter the door uh, on the le left side, uh, uh, there is a kitchen. Mm -hmm. And uh, there is a uh, huge uh, uh, living room, and uh, there are uh, sofa and uh, and uh, cupboards and uh, and uh, some pictures on the wall. It is a uh, it is a uh, souvenir from from Spain. And pictures on the wall from Seville, you said. Souvenir. There oh, are souvenir. Sorry, souvenir. Sorry, souvenir. Yeah. Uh, and uh, there are some pictures about uh, ourselves uh, with my uh, with my uh, family photos. Wife, wife. Family uh, photos. And uh, there, uh, there is a there is a, a table, a wooden table in, in the mi middle of the uh, living room. And uh, there is uh, there are two two chairs. Uh, in, in in front of the table. You've got yep. a big house. <laughs> <laughs> not not not. It is a uh, uh, sixty-seven uh, square meters uh, in all. And uh, oh my God, the, you're going to sell us real estate. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> on the on the on the first floor, uh, there is a, a quite uh, huge uh, vestibule vestibule, and uh, there is a oh be bedroom. Mm, the, I have to. I have to cut you off for a second here, Cornell. I'm sorry. I have to cut. Okay. One sec. Hello. Can everyone hear me? Hello. 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 Yes. Hello. Hello. Okay, sorry. Hello. Listen. Sorry to cut you off. Sorry to cut you off. Listen. One thing you can do before you go is, if you want to, take the description, write it, send it to me, I'll correct it and send it back. Use the keywords from today's class, and I will post those right now in the public chat for you to review later. Okay? I'm going to be right back for the business class, so stick around for that. In 30 seconds, we'll be doing the rest of our 
business communication skills section of how to talk about performance. So if you didn't get a chance to speak, do a bit of writing and I'll correct it. Bye for now, everyone. Thanks for participating. Great bye. job, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.